Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm sitting in the back of Toby's truck. It is raining currently. I drove up here because uh, they just do the first like class, I guess you would say. Toby's wife and our manager of this entire ranch, they did a class today with Tardio kind of to be the first one and they're about to do the, the first crescenting shot ever. So I thought, you know what? I need to bring you guys along. The range is completely different. We're almost there. I mean, like we're almost there. Hold on. But yes, comment section go crazy. I got a nice, look at, look how, look how beautiful I look. Oh my God. Def definitely not gonna run up these stairs. Emily, let's do this. Don't mess it up. There's only a couple hundred thousand people watching you right now. <laughs> Ooh, what happened? It's a little bit smaller of a target. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that was that was an exciting. Well, they, 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 hung, they hung a champagne bottle up. And the target, you know, let's make sure you're dialed in. Let's make sure you're dialed in. We didn't think that went through. Shot the head of the target. The shrapnel hit the champagne bottle, and I wasn't recording. So she was just making sure that she was dialed before he took the shot. And well, Emily, you did good things with your life. Uh, your daughters will never know if you did it or not, but the world knows. Oh, that's good. We're actually going to be adding a little bit more stuff uh, out here. We, we got gravel all the way through here, but this is all going to be graveled. Toby's going to have the, 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 the ramp graded over at, at, the at the back lake where, where you guys will be able to fish here in a couple weeks, hopefully. We're, our plan is to launch 100% in two weeks. Like I said, the lake's going to have a lot of rest days, and it's very imperative that we get that, that done correctly. I don't want to launch with something that's half that's just that's just not me so some some adjustments have been done on the range and that's why i wanted to show you guys general manager of this place she doesn't know anything about rifles or does she's never shot anything so today was her first day of her shooting and she got out the 750 yards she took it was kind of like a, a class at tardio the guy that's going to be running this place he wanted to it's like almost like a dry run wanted her to see exactly what people are going to come through when they're new so when they ask questions i know there's going to be a lot of people that come here that have never shot anything in their entire life so that's the whole goal but on the way out on the known portion of the range we will have stuff like this and then so on and so forth two three four five six all the way out to a thousand which i actually would like to go down there and show you guys but we now have a huge round hay bales i think we did 126 of them have been added as berms behind some of the the actual targets so we don't have to have any kind of uh, round deflections and stuff like that just just trying to make it more safe you know mainly for insurance reasons there's nothing back there that we should have to worry about but when you go far someone could jack up and shoot way over the target and that's not what we really want and we're just trying to eliminate that so that's pretty much that that's the update over here at battle springs ranch yeah see a lot of this this stuff i haven't seen myself either but this is actually the the pistol just the, the beginning the pistol range right here and these are the these are the round bells i'm talking about they're actually bailed here at toby's place in well these are the same ones at, at a 925 950 ish all those targets they have these behind them but they're stacked up <clears throat> like two to three high behind the the actual target itself where i'm going to take you guys over here this thing looks absolutely different from when you guys have seen it before like it looks we're almost done i mean next week the painters are you'll see here hold on just, just wait one i'll show you <clears throat> okay so before i get too far i'm gonna go ahead and say uh that gabe had taken some footage because he was up here it was about a week ago or so when they had actually did this huge addition on this uh our shoot house and i really want you guys to see some of the the crane and stuff in action so i'll go ahead and do that right now and then i'll see you in a second god dang this thing's much bigger than i thought So I have not been here since uh, this has been added and this is actually really, really insane to me. Toby and I had no idea. We thought that the original part of the rappel was actually just going to be off the, the third story itself. But now it's it's actually four stories high. This is kind of nuts looking at this thing, guys. This is this is wild. This rappel tower, I guess, has four <laughs> areas to rappel. I mean, it's it's pretty nuts, but well, this is what it looks like now. This is pretty nuts. This is pretty much where we're at. You can you can shut all the windows. There's a bunch of doors you can open up. They're starting the framing next week, uh, and so they're going to be starting painting as well. These are all going to be painted tan. This is going to be tan with black railings, black stairs, just like the the long range course that that platform over there. <sighs> we're going to put a big logo on the side. I might put a big NFG thing on it. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> anyway, this is this is pretty much where we're at. I'm really excited for this to launch in a couple weeks. This is nuts. So, um, I don't know when the next time you guys will see this, but all these rooms that are in here will be framed out with wooden walls. Sorry if the lighting is a little bad. 
there's no lights in here right now. We're gonna, there'll be lights in here. We'll have like these push lights so you can actually see. But all these, all throughout this, this connex, they're all welded together for a lot of you guys that don't know this. Every room will be different and then you, and you'll never do run the same scenario twice. You'll never, that'll never happen because all the walls will be moving. So every room when you come up, like say you come up here, there might have been a wall here before, now there might be a room here. Uh, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool the way this thing's framed out. This is crazy. Yeah, so they have the railing put up and then, I mean, these stairs are just endless. I guess we're gonna go up these stairs. I know this doesn't seem that high, but when you get up here, it is, this is nuts, look. I mean, this is so crazy to me. We built our own freaking rappel tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nuts. So there's the long range course over there, right there. There's the building right there. And there's the actual course that goes all the way out. There's those two, those are, you can't really see them, but that's a thousand and that's 950. Yeah, here you go. We're gonna have full rappel areas for people to come off. I mean, look at this. Look at that all the way down. It's pretty. I mean, I mean, this is crazy. Look at this. This is this is nuts. God dang. This is one of the craziest thing that whiskey's ever done. Is this right here? But this is uh, one of the areas they're going to be teaching people how to to get to this point. You got to go through multiple classes. This isn't going to be something you can just like, oh, I want to go do that. Well, no, you got to complete a couple other things to, to prove that you're actually capable of doing this and you're safe with it. Every everything inside of here is going to be shot with sim rounds, projectile. But it's instead of having lead, it's just going to be paint. And yes, they do hurt. I've been shot by them. I got shot actually in the groin, like right in the, in the area. I got shot in Kuwait, actually. It hurts like, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, this is crazy. I love seeing it though. We're almost there. I mean, we're, we're literally down to painting. And oh, and this is gonna have a, uh, I, I wanted to let you guys know, cause I mean, I might be in Florida by the time this actually launches, but the first long range class I will be flying back for them. This will actually have a rubber textured uh, roof on it. That'll be painted. I think this was gonna be painted tan, but it's gonna be like a, like my, a truck bed liner. So it's, it's not slippery. Man, look at these things. These things are actually really nice. They, the guys that are doing all the welding, they, they built these. These usually would be extremely expensive. I mean, that, we've got there's five there. I think we might have around 10 that are being built. And then there was a something else. There, there was something else. There's something else that I had ordered that I have a really good idea that I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. But take a gander at these things. I've actually never held onto these things before or really seen them in person, but I have seen this. I have used one of these, but this thing, uh, this is something that I think Gabe and I are going to do in the morning, which could be kind of a, it's going to be a really awesome video because it's something I've never done and or seen done before. Okay, so we're just inside having a conversation. We're going to be doing one day courses out the gate when it comes to the long range stuff. I think it's pretty imperative that we really get the course down, like running very, very smoothly. And with one day courses, it's very easy. It's not going to be expensive. The ammo is going to be included. 100 rounds of 308 match is going to be included. The rifles will be here. Uh, unless you want to bring your stuff in, your own stuff and your own stuff, ammunition and rifle, then you're able to do that. But within one day, I think it's very, very feasible to take a person that may not know anything about a rifle or anything that anything like that and, and take them from base level out to 500 and possibly out to 1,000 if they understand. But if, I mean, if you're a person that's kind of advanced, then the one day course is basically so you'll be able to come out and shoot out to a thousand. You might learn some new stuff about wind. And actually, I know you will. There's a lot of people in this world that don't really understand wind and what it does to a bullet anyway. And that's going to be kind of interesting because it's like a big chunk of classroom stuff is done right back here. And then you go out and actually apply it, which is pretty important. But uh, that, that's going to be happening. You guys can actually go to battlespringsranch.com and you can put yourself on the email list. We had around 4,000 people submit uh, their emails in for the first class, there's actually gonna be a two day thing that I believe is going to happen on February 4th and 5th, or was it 3rd and 4th, that uh, Thursday, Friday. And it's only gonna be for 20 people. That's it. Each one of these classes will have 10 people in them. So there'll be small classes and that's pretty much it. If you wanna be on that list, you guys can go to battlespringsranch.com and just put your, your name. We're not gonna spam you with any stuff, but uh, we'll be able to put it out on an email blast. And that's when you'll be able to find out when you can come out here for the first time and actually do something. Uh, I would like to be here. I mean, I'm pretty excited for this thing to launch. My, my, big, my big thing that I really wanna show you guys after this is, is down over there. We just had it installed here about a week ago and I haven't shown you guys. Okay, just found out, just confirmed it will happen. So that's gonna happen. So make sure you go to battlespringsranch.com, enter your email and we'll shoot you guys uh, some email blast that'll say you're now able to to sign up let's be like basically the first 20 people that do sign up for it and, and pay for the class uh like i said 100 rounds will be included uh, if you need any more rounds after that I and mean, we'll have plenty to here to buy but that's 100 rounds are included in the price and of course the rifles included if you don't bring your own stuff 
And uh, this is the, the fishing aspect. Uh, I was, Toby's in a meeting literally on the phone with him. He's not with me right now, but he's on the phone with the people that are developing the website. And I'm really hoping that in the next week or so, I can tell you guys that you're able to book out the fishing stuff because I want to see some of you guys out here, uh, especially for the spawn. And I mean, it's great. Look at this. This is, we just had this installed. So this wasn't here. This was just mighty little bank, but now we got a dock. It's perfect. It makes it a little more safe. The boat ramp's going to get redone over the next week. New new rock's going to be added. Toby and I have, and I know you guys may not realize, but we have stuck more money into this, this project than we actually anticipated. And uh, we just, I, I don't know, we, we thought it would take a couple months. Now we're like six months into it. Uh, over, over budget by more money than I would have ever thought would have been stuck in this project. We wanted to make sure that we got it done and we wanted to make sure we're, if we build something, we want it to be the best. Legitimately, I, I, I do believe we have world's largest personally owned shoot house. Like I don't think there's anybody else on planet earth that has something as big as we built for you guys to come out to. Uh, but no, this lake will be open as well here very soon, which I'm damn excited about because then we can fill my place and uh, that's pretty much that. But hey, today it's it's raining, the weather's terrible. I'm gonna hop off here. I do love you guys. Make sure to go and go to, go to battlespringsranch.com and uh, check it out. Put your email address in there so it'll send you a thing. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna sign off and I'll catch you guys. Well, hopefully I'll see you guys here tomorrow because uh, the weather's gonna be a little bit nicer. <laughs>